Hey guys, it's Andrew here with Cyber Review. Welcome back. Today I wanted to show you guys the newly updated iMovie app, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright guys, so uh, this interface here might look familiar to a lot of you who have used iMovie in the past. Uh, it is the same layout that they had on the old iMovie. Um, it is the same start screen, but what they have added now is uh, trailer. Uh, you still have your project just like you did on your old one, but they've added the trailer. So I wanted to show you guys this. It's really cool. I like the update a lot. And uh, for those of you who have a Mac and have used iMovie on Mac, this here um, will look familiar to you because it is very similar to the Mac version. So uh, first to start, you have all your trailers here at the bottom to choose from. They have quite a few different ones, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you want to preview what they look like, uh, like if we wanted to preview retro, we just hit play and it'll give us a little preview up here of how that's going to look and then you can kind of choose what you want uh, that way. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and go with retro. You hit create up there in the corner and it'll bring you in to your outline. Now over here on the left hand side you'll see the outline. Uh, this is everything you're going to need to fill in. Uh, the movie name, uh, you got your, you can put your cast members in, you can make up a studio name, and then you uh, want to fill in your credits there as well. The credits will show up at the end of your iMovie, so you do want to fill that in. Um, over here on the right you have your little uh, preview box, and down here this is where all of your uh, photos and videos will be where you choose. So uh, in order to start editing you hit the storyboard tab right here. And as you can see, uh, here's your storyboard here on the left hand side. And then there's the movies, how I was talking about there a second ago. Now uh, in order to edit, it's very simple, all you do is just click. And if you wanted to change the words here, um, you would just hit clear and you could change them to, uh, let's see, we'll go, we'll just change it to review and then you hit done and you've changed the words. So it's real simple, you just click and it changes all the words. Real simple, real easy to do. And then over here on the side, you uh, have your pictures or your videos you insert and it tells you what type of picture you need. So this is gonna be uh, a medium shot with one person in it. Uh, so it kind of gives you a basic layout. And then down here you can see it's got an action shot. So you're gonna want an action shot for that one. That, that just uh, makes the trailer look better because it's uh, set up for those kind of shots. That's why those are in there. So uh, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna pick some random clips. So in order to pick a clip here, you just click on it and then you go down to your clips. Um, these are all the videos you have on your iPad or if you wanna shoot a video on the fly, there's a video button down at the bottom. You just click that and then you can just film on the fly and uh, do it that way. So we're just gonna pick a clip from here and you just click and the clip inserts up there. Now if you wanna preview what it's gonna look like, all you do is click on the clip and then you can just hit this little play button here and it'll show you there what the clip is going to look like. Okay, so that's that's what it's going to look like. Now it wants us to insert another one. So in order to insert another one, you just we'll just click on another frame here. We'll do that one. Hit insert. Bam goes up there. And if you want to watch it again, just hit play. And there we go. We can watch it again. If you want to do any tweaks to it, say say I don't like the way that 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 one was sitting here. Um, what you can do is click on it and then come down here and hit this play button and uh, that'll allow you to kind of adjust where at in the clip you are choosing. So you can sit, switch it to there, hit done, and there you go. Now the clip is changed and ready to go. So uh, that's that's pretty much it, guys. It's really simple, um, uh, and a lot of you may kind of be familiar with this interface. It's a lot like the old iMovie, but this is really cool because it's, it's the trailer now. So um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can make some real cool trailers. It's real fun. And uh, I'd recommend picking it up, or if you guys already have it, definitely upgrade. It's, it's a fun little upgrade. So anyway, guys, hope you liked the review. If so, go ahead and hit that like button for me right down below there. Also, don't forget to subscribe right up top. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and check out my website, cyberreview.net. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.